If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Tash Maho is ready for new innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for Paris president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Tash Maho Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for Paris president. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident? The doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthons even schedule Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthons Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service bays to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey. I'm running for state representative here in District 73. As a small business owner of 16 years, I know the strains of an oversized government. I also know the need for fiscal responsibility. I plan to represent you with honesty and integrity. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. I want to ask for your vote on October 24th, and I want to thank you in advance from my family to yours. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five-mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's a specialty medication pharmacy. John's has fast-friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. Welcome to the WSTY Game of the Week on the campus of St. Thomas Aquinas Falcons. We're here at Pete Blenny Field to welcome in a non-conference matchup on homecoming night, the George Washington Carver Rams. And Rusty, St. Thomas comes into this game 5-0, uh, and oh, undefeated, ranked number six in the state, but tonight stepping up in class against a 4A opponent coming in at 4-1 and one is Carver. They only lost to McDonough 35 last week, 27-20. McDonough 35 is a undefeated team, so we ought to have a good matchup here tonight. One hopper through the legs and into the end zone will come out to the 20 where Carver will have it first down and 10. You know, we're looking to see some uh, big time athletes coming in here from Carver. They can really run, they got a quarterback can throw the ball, so it's gonna be a big test for this Falcons defense, who we know can step it up and play well. And we gotta see that they get some pressure up front from that big defensive line. Well, the question is, St. Thomas played a lot of teams that were really adept running the football and they're real strong against the run. Tonight, I believe Carver is going to come out here in five wides and throw the football. And as we see on the field right now, you got Danzler starting at cornerback, so they know they have to respect the speed because probably nobody out here is on this field right now is faster than Danzler. So the Rams come out against this St. Thomas defense and they go out immediately into four wides. They do have them back in the backfield. Hand off to Wilson, he's hit big in Alexander in the backfield. The LSU commit makes a big play and that's what you want to see out of your big line and get some penetration. They drop him for about a seven yard loss. Good penetration, just what we talked about here before the game, he's got to be in the backfield all night. It's later in the season, Big A's probably in better shape, so he's going to be able to do that for four quarters here tonight. 
Ball marked down at the 13 yard line. Dropping back to throw. Pressure coming, he's gonna be sacked. No, he breaks free, still on his feet. And we'll get back across the line of scrimmage and pick up a couple yards. But once again, good penetration by the St. Thomas defensive line. We know tonight, dog, the number 18, Jesse Hester, is out of the game. That's a big loss for the Falcons. He's usually playing defensive end out there, does a really good job of doing what he needs to do at that end position. And it doesn't take much to do this, but I'm already confused looking for the quarterback's name on the Carver Rams, and we don't have an 11 on the roster. Drops straight back, flag flies, zips it to the inside. Pass incomplete as it was thrown behind the intended receiver, Young. See what the penalty is. If it's against Carver, they will decline it and have to punt. St. Thomas had good coverage on that pass as well, so looking good so far is the defense. Penalty is against Carver for a legal procedure, and they're going to decline it. So the defense for St. Thomas comes out and immediately establishes himself. Carver will be forced to punt the football from deep in their own territory. Dantzler will be back to receive. Now, Dantzler, a big weapon here, the quarterback for the Tours, has a lot of speed. I mean, for the Falcons, excuse me. Line drive kick fielded at the 42, so the Falcons offense will take over first down and 10. Tonight's game brought to you by Dixie RV Superstores, Bill Hood Automotive Group, Anthon's Chiropractic Clinic, Robbie Miller, candidate for Paris president, Tim Bailey, candidate for state representative, District 73, and John's Pharmacy in Albany saying, go Falcons. So first down and 10 from the Carver 42. Now they're talking to the quarterback here and I think what it has to do is the 25 second clocks are out on both ends of the field so they're telling him who's gonna be doing the countdown. Lewis around the right side, big gain of 15, 16 yards and a first down. Mark dead at the 25 yard line. This Falcon team has come out ready to play tonight. They know that this is a big test for them. The 4A school is doing well. This is a big game to show them what they're really made of. Quarterback keeper is Dantzler right up the middle. Hit but full three. Ball's on the ground. And the Falcons recover. Jacob Bordock on the recovery. We talk about it week in and week out, dogs. You get in that mix, you start trying to get some extra yards, you got to really tuck that ball and just take what you got, drop it, and live to play another play. So the Falcons avoid a big mistake here early as they're on the move here. Second down and a yard. Flag flies, legal procedure against the Falcons. They'll back them up five. It will be second down and six. Ball start the ball against the Falcons. And you know, we were here for the opening game of the season and it was a big hype to game opening the new stadium, but you didn't see the intensity out of St. Thomas as you're seeing here earlier tonight, not only from the players, but from the coaching staff, very animated down there on the sideline. Hand off to Lewis, he's hitting the backfield, will lose about a yard. 
James Jones, the third defense, sophomore defensive end for Carver in the backfield. You know, before this game is over with, that's what you're going to see from Carver. They're going to start loading that line of scrimmage, trying to stop Danzler and that zone read that they do so well. So they're going to have to put the ball in the air here a little bit. Third down and 10 for St. Thomas. Probably a little bit out of field goal range for them. Dance for the quarterback keeper up the middle, runs through an arm tackle, breaks a tackle, he's at the 10, the five, runs over a man, he's down at the one and fumbles again. They're gonna call him dead at the one, so that's twice the ball that squirted out of Dantzler's hands. But what a nice run there. You see the ability of Dantzler right there, they closed down his lane initially, he breaks right and that speed kicked in. He's gonna really have to squeeze that ball tonight though. That's twice already on this first drive. So first and goal from the one, St. Thomas with a chance to take the early lead in this ball game. Opening possession for the Falcons. Lewis right side, falls down at the one. It'll be second and goal. Looks like he had the corner and slipped. Got three downs more to do it. You got to understand that Coach White is definitely going to go for it down here early to establish this ball game. So big drive, big finish right here for the Falcons. Once again, ball hits the ground. Dantzler goes down after it. It'll be third and goal. Looks like he just didn't come up with the snap cleanly. Carver loading that line of scrimmage. That center's trying to make sure he gets low and gets some movement, but he just kind of got to make sure that ball gets there. And Carver takes a timeout. Big play here on third down. Third down and goal. Ball resting about the yard and a half. Dantzler on the quarterback keeper. Touchdown. St. Thomas takes the early lead, six to nothing. Tell you what, that's what you need to do coming out here at home with a very talented Carver team. Get that ball with good field position and take it right down on your first drive and put it in the end zone. Well, credit the defense. Kept the field position in their favor. So when St. Thomas got the low punt, started at the 42-yard line, so a short field, and they take advantage and lead it six to nothing. Kick is high and it's end over end, and it's good. So it's seven to nothing. Hetzinger drills the extra point. So St. Thomas with the early lead here, 6.51 to go in the opening quarter. If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Tanch Maho is ready for new innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for parish president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Tanch Maho Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for parish president. Hetzinger to kick it away. Carver will have it for the second time. Now trailing seven to nothing. Low end over end kick, fielded at the eight yard line. Carver straight up field, cross the 30 to the 36 yard line. Well, they'll have it first down and 10. The WSTY game of the week here. St. Thomas Aquinas up seven to nothing early against George Washington Carver out of New Orleans. This is the A team. Our cameraman, the immortal one, Mr. Butch Lee. The big man, Rusty Barrio, and I'm the big dog calling tonight's action. I'm Daryl Smith, and we'll be bringing you to the action tonight. Rusty, so far, St. Thomas looks like they came ready to play tonight. They've done a good job so far on defense. They did a really good job on offense, mixing it up a little bit. But you know Carver is explosive, so they're going to have to stay on their toes and keep this in motion the entire game.
Shotgun formation. Inside handoff, not much there. In the backfield, it's number 94, Trey Jackson, who just totally blew that play up for it and had a chance to do anything. You know, watching Carver before the game, dog, all they did was get in trips, get wide, and they chunked the ball for about 30 minutes. We haven't seen them throw a pass yet. You know, and right now it looks like the middle of this line here for St. Thomas is really just whooping up on the offensive line of Carver. And if they can't control the middle of the line, they're going to have a tough time doing anything. You know, that last play, it looked like they disguised their defense that time. They started in three. They bailed somebody to cover two. So they're doing a really good job of keeping them off balance. Hand off up the middle, big hole. First down, cross the 45, all the way out to the 47 yard line. And that's DeQuintez Wilson, the big play man. He's got close to 600 yards receiving and four touchdowns on the season for the Rams. And I'm gonna tell you what, sometimes you gotta take that athlete and put him in a position. He's usually a wide receiver. This time they line him up at the backfield and hand him the football. And the first first down of the game for Carver. Fakes the speed play, this is Wilson again. Pick up of about four. You know, that's a good play to run when you have that defensive line getting all that penetration. You make them respect that speed. As they get up the field, they hand the dive and run right past those big guys. So Carver right now doing a good job of answering what the Falcons defense is giving them. Second down and six, ball in Falcon territory, just across midfield. So Carver trailing by seven, trying to answer here. Swings a pass to the outside. Pretty good coverage out there by number 21. Edwards knocks him down after about a three yard gain. It'll bring up third down and short. Ball at the 46 yard line. It'll be third down and three. Handoff on the right side, close to the first down is number 28. Apologize that we don't call out some of these Carver names because <laughs> the roster we have does not match up to the numbers on the field. Let's see if Butch can make his first mistake of the night. Butch he's already, he's already thrown up the finger, man. He's already thrown up the finger. He, he, he's not even waiting for it. First down, says Butch Lee. Oh, about a half yard shy, so Butch 0 for the season. <laughs> Guess you should have taken a little more time to look at that one, eh? Fourth down, inches. Bad spot. <laughs> we'll just leave it with that. That's right. Bad spot. That's okay. So a big play right here for the Falcons, dog. Fourth I, and short. I think the bad spot was putting Butch in the position to make a call. <laughs> that was the bad That's spot. That's our fault. My bad, folks. So fourth down and inches. Big play here for this Falcon defense. Carver's getting a little bit of momentum built up. They could shut it down right here with a fourth down stop. Looks like he's going to get under center. I was wondering. Never do understand that, that short yardage. If they, they stay in the gun. So Carver's getting underneath with a full backfield there. Power eye. They got a senior defensive end lined up at fullback, Wilson. And a lot of times you can key on him because they're going to follow him into the hole. And the Mike linebacker's back pretty deep here. Watch the sneak. Handoff, left side. Runs through a couple of 
would-be tacklers and gets it down to the 40 and a half yard line and a first down. I just like the field goal last week. Butch said this is a first down. You got it, man. So first and 10, ball at the 40 yard line. Carver with a couple of first downs. Four minutes to go in the opening quarter. St. Thomas leads it seven to nothing. You got to wonder when they're going to take a shot here, dog. There it is. <laughs> Great coverage out there. Ball off the hands of the receiver, but the defender stride for stride. And even though Alexander was double teamed, he still was breaking through that hole, made him throw it. And that was a good opportunity for Carver to take that shot. Got the first down, crossing yeah. their territory. And like I said, I, I was waiting to see it. And there it was. And Cooper out there on the coverage, number 11, was stride for stride with the receiver. And the safety was over the top. Good job by the Falcons. Second down and 10. Man-to-man -man coverage out here on Wilson to the bottom of your screen, but it's a running play off the left side. Number 44 hit him at the line of scrimmage and stopped him for the short game that he got. That's Hayes Paralu. Pick up a four. You know, the good thing about this drive right here for the Falcons is they're making them earn it, dog. A lot of times these ty types of teams, Carver, you know, those 35, they, they live and die by that big play. So what they're doing right now is making them earn it, and that's a good job by the Falcons defense. Well, when you do that, you're hoping that somewhere along the drive they'll make a mistake, a, a holding penalty, a turnover, or something. So far, Carver managing, third down and six. Nice pocket, now he'll roll right. Gets it away late and gonna be a completion and a first down. Young still on his feet. Tiptoeing out of bounds at about the 21 yard line. Now right there, it looked like a little bit of a mistake by the quarterback, had a nice pocket in the middle field. When he rolled, he had a couple players that they had pushed to the outside, but still able to make the completion and another first down for the Rams. Clock stopped 247 while they moved the chains here in the opening quarter. Falcons need to get in that bend, don't break mode right here. Continue to pressure that quarterback, get in the backfield and cause some problems. Alexander to the sideline for a blow. Rams send a man in motion. They're gonna throw it deep to the corner. Got a receiver out there, but overthrown. And once again, Dantzler on the coverage, stride for stride, even though he's behind the receiver, was right there with him. We talked about at the start of the game, I don't think anybody out here can match his speed. So he's doing a good job right now. They did a smart job putting him at cornerback so we can run with these guys. Well, you know, that was the key on that play. You had Dancer lined up on Wilson, their big play guy. A couple plays earlier, Wilson was out here on one of the smaller cornerbacks, and that's when you've got to recognize if you're Carver, and that's when you go to him. Once again, it'll be Dancer and Wilson, man to man. Second down and 10. Counter play off the right side. Pretty good hole over there. He'll pick up about seven. Burton on the carry, brought down by Lee at the 15 yard line. Looks like third down, a short five. You know, one thing you can bet, dog, is they don't have a kicker. You probably put that in the book. So they're going to have to put it in the end zone for points here tonight. Two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Carver on the move. Big third down play here. Wilson goes in motion. Flag down. Looks like Wilson may have turned up field before the ball was snapped. Legal procedure against the Rams, and that's exactly the call. There's your penalty right there you were speaking of, though. Well, you know, you can get away with that in arena football. They allow that, <laughs> but in high school football, you have cannot be moving toward the line of scrimmage before the ball snap. You could be running laterally. 
but not toward it. And that time he turned up field too quick. Nice break there for the Falcons as now they back him up five. It'll be third down and nine. Third down, nine. Alexander up the middle, he'll have him. Late pitch to the outside, ball on the ground. They're gonna call it a incomplete pass. It'll bring up fourth down and nine. That was close, dog, that could have been a lateral. If it was, Dancer was right there to scoop that thing up. Once again, Alexander with a big burst up the middle to blow the play up, force them into fourth and nine. So the St. Thomas Aquinas Falcons defense has bent, but it has not broken in a chance to stop them here and get the ball back for their offense. Big man's having a good game so far up front. Defense is flying around, everybody going to the ball. Big play right here for the Falcons. Got a man open. Ball hangs up and closing in on it was number one, Carlos Bell to knock it away and give the Falcons the ball. Nice job by the Falcons defense. Pretty good drive right there by the Rams, but like we said, nice, don't break. Nice play call there by the Rams. They had the man open, but the ball too late coming out. And that's what you see a lot in high school. They wait for the player to get open before they throw it. Exactly. If you ever watch at the pro level, that ball's out before they even make their break because they know exactly where they're going to be. So a little bit different game here, but the Falcons defense gives us a yardage, but no points, and now the offense takes over. And this could be the key here tonight. You see in dance floor having to go both ways. Yep. Lewis to the outside. And you know, dog, going both ways in a different capacity. I mean, these guys are running deep down the field constantly. He's man coverage, so hopefully he can hold for four quarters and keep doing what he's doing. Well, not only is he man coverage, but he's man coverage against the best athlete on their team, so he's having to work awful hard on defense. Sometimes you see those guys going both ways and they're covering a receiver that's not, they're not really throwing the ball, but tonight he's gonna have to hustle and be in good shape. Second down and nine. Lewis again, still on his feet, breaking tackles, hard running by Lewis. Pick up a six. It'll be third down and three. Now St. Thomas does not have to run another play. And I think wisely here on third down, they'll probably let this run down to the end of the quarter. So your score at the end of the first, St. Thomas Aquinas, seven, Carver, zero. Tash Mahoe is ready for new innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for parish president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next Chief Executive Officer for Tashpo Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for Parish President. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's especially medication pharmacy. John's has fast friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey. I'm running for state representative here in District 73. As a small business owner of 16 years, I know the strains of an oversized government. I also know the need for fiscal responsibility. I plan to represent you with honesty and integrity. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. 
I want to ask for your vote on October 24th, and I want to thank you in advance from my family to yours. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service bays to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda, and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Start of the second quarter, third down and two for the Falcons. Handed off to Lewis, breaks a tackle and he's gonna be close to the first down. I think he'll have it. Good second effort right there. Has it by a half yard. Bush shaking his head like he knew that. <laughs> Of course he did because he heard me say it. That's right. First down, 10 Falcons. Carver jumps offside, makes contact, so that'll be offside, then a five yard penalty. Mark the penalty off and St. Thomas quickly to the line. High snap brought in by Dantzler trying to get to the outside. Breaks one tackle, turns the corner, and has another first down out to the 42-yard line. Also in the parish tonight, Kent Wood playing St. John's, Springfield, St. Helena, A. Meet, Sumner, Hammonds at Fountain Blue, Ponchatoula's at Slidell, and LaRondra and Lakeshore matchup. That St. Paul's Ponchatoula game ought to be a good one. We saw St. Paul's kind of put it on Hammond last week. And Ponchatoula with their first loss of the season last week at Mandeville. Lewis, left side, pick up a three. Brad Lewis on the carry, stopped me by number 12, Philip Joseph. Falcons trying to just establish that run game, run that clock, keep Carver's offense off the field, kind of lull him to sleep. And then you know it before it's over with. Dancer's going to read it one time, pop outside, and we'll see if he can get to the end zone here with that speed. We've doing seen a, it before. Doing a good job of controlling the football right now. Second and seven. High snap. Dancer pulls in. Going to be run down from behind there. Never saw the defender coming off the edge. Lionel Williams came on the corner blitz, looked like, and he caught him from behind. Loss of one on the play. It'll be third down and eight.
Fakes a handoff, looking to throw. Slings it deep down the right side, but the pass flies out of bounds. Pass intended for Brady Becerra. Intended for Becerra. It's incomplete. They'll bring up a punting situation. Week six of high school football, you know, it seems like it just started last week and it's already over the halfway mark. And Carver's got some dangerous men back there ready to return this punt. It's going to have to be... Uh, be smart here by the St. Thomas Falcons. Well, they need to have some hang time here on this punt. Allow your coverage to get down. And a bobbled fair catch attempt, but Wilson falls on it, so Carver has it. Your score is still seven to nothing St. Thomas as Carver will take over. Now the last series rushed they had a little bit of success moving the football, but died at about the 20 yard line. So we'll see if Carver comes out and sticks to what they were doing, trying to establish the run a little bit. Took a couple of shots there, but. And teams like this get antsy. You know, these athletes want to make plays. They don't want to just run the ball and wide, get wide and not catch a pass. So they get antsy, and you know, they will take some shots and that could benefit the Falcons here in the long run. And chewing tobacco, please refrain from using these products while on campus. Thank you. Inside handoff, left side wide open as he turns the corner. Run out of bounds right at the first down marker. <clears throat> and when he caught him on that counter play, there was nobody at the line of scrimmage on that side of the field. And they've had success with that already tonight. Run the speed motion, you know, they do some things. They've run the counters. St. Thomas has to stay at home and try not to penetrate so much on that backside. Second down and, not, and one as a nine yard gain on first down. <clears throat> Hand off again. This time he cuts it back up the middle. Another big gaping hole. Runs into his own man at the 46 and then brought down. So it'll be first down and 10 Carver. So two big holes there on consecutive plays. And we saw the Falcon defense on the field a lot there, that, that first drive for the Rams. We don't see the, the intensity that we kind of saw here at the beginning of the game. They're going to have to pick it up. Hand off again this time, nowhere to go. It's number 52, Terrence Jackson got upfield, dropped him for about a yard loss. Stop me by number 52, Terrence. And right now you see Coach White kind of shuffling some of these cornerbacks in as know they're running every play, so he's got to give them a rest. Pressure up the middle, hit as he throws, ball hangs up. And oh, out of bounds. Oh, man, what a great play right there. Bolton playing center field, came up with the football, but the official said he was out of bounds, so to bring up third down and 11. That, no, that no. ball hung up a long time. I'm going to tell you what, number 22, Brett Bass, just nailed the quarterback as soon as he let the ball go. Great job coming in there. Well, Bass him. came in on blitz off the left side and had a clear shot at the quarterback, and he hit him as he let it go, and he still got a pretty good pass off. Third down and 11. Now we've already seen the lack of the kicking game by Carver, so you know they're not really adept at punting the football. <laughs> Throwing it up deep again. Nice adjustment there by number two Young as he makes the catch. At the 19-yard line, good coverage there, but Young saw the football and faded back to it and caught it. You know, that's what, that happens so many times. You see defensive backs with great coverage and that ball underthrown a little bit, and they can't throw them the breaks quite as well because they don't see the ball like the receiver does. That was good coverage. You know, looking at the sideline, Dantzler's come out of the game off defense and are taping up that right hand. See if it affects him when he's in at quarterback. 
But right now, defense still on the field. First down and 10 from the 19. Swing pass to the outside. Hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards for no gain. You can see the Rams now starting to open it up a little bit, getting some empty formations, do a little different stuff. Seems like they're going to start throwing around the field. Hunter Stanley and Reed Bolton on the tackle on that play, stopped him for about a half yard loss. Ball resting on the 20 yard line. It'll be second down and 11. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Quinn, the long setback. Out pattern and badly overthrown. That time he had time in the pocket to set up and just sailed the pass. Alexander and Danzer are now entering the game again, so that's a good sign for the Falcons. Big third down play here, third down and 11. If you're Carver, you got to figure they're going to try to pick up as much of this as they can. May not have to get the whole first down because you know they're going to go for it here. And Carver will take a timeout. Fourth, excuse me, third down and 11 from the 20. Looking deep again. Pass in and out of the hands of the receiver at about the seven yard line. Once again, he was open, made a nice curl there, but It'll bring up fourth down, and Carver will have to go for it. <clears throat> Falcons doing a good job of keeping them in the long chains, but you know they're again they're on the field a long time. You're starting to see those hands get on those hips. Well, what you're doing is making Carver convert longer plays, even though the guy was open. You still have to execute to get it. Wouldn't have got much more. The defender was behind him, but he did have a clear shot to him. Fourth down. St. Thomas showing blitz, and here they come. He's going to come up shy. Good job out there by Dantzler. And they will take the quarterback trying to run to pick up a fourth and 11 all night long. And that's what the Carver coaches are over there on the sideline telling their quarterback. You don't run that ball with 11 yards to get it. We got to put it in the air to give us a shot. So once again, bend but not break is the St. Thomas Aquinas Falcons defense as they stop them at the 14 yard line. That's twice they've gotten down inside the red zone and come up empty. Good job by that Falcons defense again. Dantzler on the run, makes a nice cut on his feet, cuts back against the grain, trying to get to the outside, and runs it all the way down to the 42-yard line. You know, that's what I was talking about earlier. You're going to see it one time he's going to pull and get to that outside, and his speed is going to make a difference. A gain of 42 on the play. Not sure if he got tired or because it looked like he slowed up at the end or he just realized he couldn't outrun. They had the angles on him. But you figure he ran 42, but he probably ran 75 yards on the play to get to 42. Some really good cuts to get back across that field. Nice cut on the, on the play was Dantzler, and it'll be bringing up first down and 10 inside Ram territory. So if nothing else, they've converted the field position in their favor. 6.33 to go here in the first half. It's seven to nothing, St. Thomas. <clears throat> flag on the play as Bell runs the ball off the right side. Second flag. Carlos Bell on the carry. There's a flag on the play. Might have had some movement out there by the Falcons offense. Well, one flag on the far side flew immediately, and the one on this side was midway through the play. So let's see if there's two fouls. 
And if there's not, the guy on this side is real slow. <laughs> and it was movement. <laughs> Paul start the call against the Falcons. That'll back him up five. It'll bring up first down and 15. Maybe he got hung up. Well, I think what happens is you got the official on this side that uh, he has to turn and see Coach White when he throws the flag. Yeah. So <laughs> that's right. Might be a little more hesitant than the official on the other side of the field. First down, 15. Lewis back in the game at tailback. Dantzler trying to run the left side. Cuts it back up and he is hammered down after, I don't even think he got back to the line of scrimmage, might have lost a yard. And number 56 on the tackle, James Jones did a good job of, of looking at the waist. And when Dantzler tried to cut, he was staring dead at the waist. You shake those shoulders all day, but that waist is going the direction that you're going. Second down, 15. So second and 15. Looks like St. Thomas is going to let it run down and take a timeout here. Back just got his hand up. So it will be timeout Falcons with 528 to go here in the first half. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service base to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey. I'm running for state representative here in District 73. As a small business owner of 16 years, I know the strains of an oversized government. I also know the need for fiscal responsibility. I plan to represent you with honesty and integrity. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. I want to ask for your vote on October 24th, and I want to thank you in advance from my family to yours. Coach White gives him a breather with a timeout, and it'll be second down and 15. Dantzler going to roll right, looking to throw. Pass in and out of the defender's hands. Should have been picked off, intended for Becerra. Now, we talked about Dantzler's hand having to be taped in between possessions there. Don't know if it affected that throw, but it was underthrown. And it looked to me like that time Carver went out there and just broke down and said, if you're going to throw it, throw it. We're not going to let you run it. Yeah, it did seem that way. Third and 15. Clock stopped with 5.21 to go here in the second quarter. Delay of the game against St. Thomas. Delay of the game, the call against the Falcons. You know, we talked about the play clock's not working, but you know, if you watch that back judge at 10 he seconds, he puts his hand up. When he does that, you have 10 seconds to go before the delay call. That third time they didn't get the playoff 20. penalty on the Falcons. So third down and 20. Wouldn't be surprised to see a run here to keep the clock moving. You want to give Carver a lot of time as they look like they may get the football back. Got a man wide open and completed for a first down. That's Pachera. Nice throw by Dantzler. Pachera just kind of found his way into the middle of the zone there. He had three defenders surrounding him, and he did a good job of finding the open area. Good pass and good catch by the Falcons. Maybe they took the delay a game to open up the field, give him a little more room. I'm not sure. We'll give him that smart coaching. <laughs> but I tell you what, he sure threw it on the money there and gives him a first down. 
And now they can control this ball to the end of the first half. See if they go back to Lewis here on the ground. Under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Dansler on the keeper. Put it in the belly of Lewis, pulled it out, and ran it himself. Pick up a four. The ball is spotted at the 19 yard line. And that's something else you could do to frustrate a high powered offense is keep them on the sideline. And St. Thomas doing a good job of that right now. St. Thomas also will get the football to start the second half as they deferred when they won the coin toss. <clears throat> Lewis right side, nothing there. Brad Lewis on the carry. Stop me by number 54, Eddie Percy. Third down and six. Six. And you take a shot and put it in the air here and just try to pick up what you can and maybe try to get some points on the board with the field goal. I wouldn't Kicker. be surprised to see a move Dancer out of the pocket in a, in a pass run situation for him. And this is where Carver has to be careful, careful to keep him in the pocket or Dancer will make a play on you. Strict run to the outside. Dantzler is going to have the first down as the Carver player comes from behind, knocked him forward. Big play by the quarterback. The ball is spotted at the 12-yard line. And this is the drive the Falcons needed. Give that defense a little rest. Been on the field a lot in this first half. They can get some points out of this drive. That's going to be huge right here before the half. If they can go up 14 0 at halftime and get the ball to start the second half, you're going to see a Carver sideline that's not going to be real happy because they're used to running up and down the field and just not being able to do nothing here tonight. Bell goes backwards, is going to lose about eight. One of those plays where you just got to take what they had there. If you'd have lost one, it'd been great. Tried to make the big play and lost an extra six or seven. Didn't read his block real well. The guy had him kicked out and he tried to bounce it. Should have cut back underneath that block, maybe gotten a few yards there. Second and 17, ball at the 19 yard line. Second down, 17. Dantzler going to run to the left, cuts it inside, breaks a tackle, will get it down to about the 12 yard line. Some Carver players shaking up there a little bit. Slow to get up. Lost a shoe and a helmet. <laughs> Third down and 10 for the Falcons. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Lewis getting to the outside. Not going to quite get to the first down as he's run out of bounds. Looks to be about the five-yard line. Stops the clock here. And here comes the field goal unit on. St. Thomas takes a timeout. Hetzinger to attempt a 23-yard field goal from the right hash mark to extend the lead. 133 to go here in the first half. Kick is high and it's good. And the Falcons lead it 10 to nothing.
Tash Maho is ready for new innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for parish president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Tashpo Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for Parish President. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five-mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's a specialty medication pharmacy. John's has fast, friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. With a minute 28 to go here in the first half, Hessinger to kick it off. The Falcons need to avoid a big return here. Try to go into halftime up 10-0 and come back out and get the football to start the second half, and you're in pretty good shape in this football game. Squib kick. Fielded on the hop across the 40. Going to get out to the 47-yard line. Don't think that's quite what they had in mind. Probably want to get it past that level of Carver Rams, but he got a hand on it. And they got pretty good field position right here and a good little bit of time. Well, not only did he get a hand on it, he returned it about 15 yards. So was probably hoping he'd just have to fall on it down there. Minute 23. No timeouts there for the Rams. Scoreboard's kind of missing some bulbs there. St. Thomas showing blitz. Now they drop out. Late pass, gonna be incomplete. Being pressured back there by number 53, Colin Lee. You know, dog, they were in an empty set. They had quads on top of the top of the field there, so that must have been pretty good coverage there by the Falcons. Well, they also forced him to roll right away from the quads, and that's the key there. But once again, looked like he didn't have to be forced out. He decided to bounce it to the outside. Lee was being forced that way and was able then to get in his face and put pressure on him. Good job by the Falcon defense. Minute 16, second down and 10. <laughs> Fumble. St. Thomas has it. Great pressure by the D-line right there, the Falcons. Good job making him step up, get out of the pocket, and big 99 makes the hit and knocks the ball free. Didn't see who recovered it, but nevertheless. Butch says 52, Terrence Jackson, 22. Make up your mind. A Falcon recovers the ball. Red Bass. <laughs> But then again, Butch has been wrong so many times. Who oh, knows no. who recovered? We can't it. trust him. Ten to nothing. One oh seven. St. Thomas has it. They're going to run a flea flicker. Got a man open deep, but he's badly overthrown. He overthrows everybody. Looked like Bachero was open going to the corner. He chose to go to the middle of the field for Mason Miller. I like the play call. Take Absolutely, a take right a shot. Ten. You can see the arm strength of Danza right there. That ball is about close to 60 yards in the air. So he's got some range on that arm. Second and 10. Clock stopped with 58 seconds to go here in the first half. Lewis, round the right side. Blockers out front. Drag down, out of bounds. Stop the Brian clock at 51 Lewis, seconds. Not much on the play. By Maybe got a half yard. No game on the field. 
on the play, third down, 10. You got to think here if you're the, the Falcons, you know, you don't keep it, keep it on the ground, run the ball a little bit. Don't take a chance right here because, like you said, they get in the ball, start the second half. Well, you tell your quarterback if you're not going to run it, you drop back, you look. And if it's not there, run. That's this time he didn't even look. He just ran. Now they'll punt it away. Carver takes their final timeout. With 44 seconds to go, they go to force St. Thomas to punt the football. St. Thomas to kick it away. And if you're the punter, just get it, get, get it out of there. Good snap. Hetzinger punts it away. High kick, fielded at the five. Fair caught. Score update for us here. Ponchatoula up 21 to nothing right before the half. Ponchatoula, first loss of the season last week at Mandeville on a questionable call and taking out their frustrations on the Tigers this week over in Slidell. So 37 seconds to go here in the WSTY game of the week here in the first half. 10 to nothing, St. Thomas. If you're the Carver Rams, you don't want to do anything too stupid down here. They've been getting a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Well, you don't want to drop back too deep and take a shot because you could get sacked in the end zone. Your quarterback has to be smart enough, just get rid of the football if it's not there immediately. Gets hit as he throws it. Pass completed. First down at the 19-yard line. He takes a big hit and he's First down pass still. Complete to number 17. Stop made by Cameron Dazzler. The ball is spotted at the 19-yard line. First down, 10 Rams. It looks like he's going to stay down right here as an injury timeout. New quarterback in the game, Quentin Matthews, and we. This is a junior. We saw him out there. In pregame, he can throw it pretty good too. So, first down and 10, Matthews in. I'd be surprised if they throw the ball here. I mean, really, do you know 80 yards in 30 seconds as the clock has started? They're going to throw it. Deep over the middle. Great position there by Edward Cooper. Wilson calling for a flag, but Cooper had him played perfectly. You know, as we talked about earlier, Carver is used to that big play. They used to, they, you know, they think they can do it at any time, any place, anywhere on the field, and that's what they're still thinking here by throwing the ball. Well, you know that's fine, but you're only down 10 to nothing. You fool around, throw a pick here, and let St. Thomas get some more points before the half. Right. You'll really be in trouble. This Falcons defense has played well here in the first half. Swing pass to the outside, ball hangs up. And that could was have almost. Been, <laughs> it could have been picked off if Bell would have had his head up. That was almost what you were just talking about right there. Kind of don't understand it here. Not enough time left to go the length of the field. 12 seconds to go. It's third down and 10. Now here's the rub, third down and 10 with 12 seconds. If they throw an incompletion, now you have to punt the ball and anything can happen on a punt, especially on your end of the field. <laughs> Trying to throw it deep, it's gonna be badly overthrown and picked off by Bolton. <laughs> Tackled immediately. So St. Thomas will have to run one play. And I'm going to tell you what, Big Ed put a lick on the backup quarterback. So, again, you take a chance of getting the pick, getting the six, and you also take a chance of getting your, your backup quarterback hurt as well. Which you're going to need in the second half in a 10-point ball game. So, some questionable calls here 
by the Carver sideline here late in the first half, but the St. Thomas Aquinas Falcons will kneel on the football here, I believe and go into halftime up 10 to nothing in our WSTY game of the week here on the campus of St. Thomas Aquinas, Pete Valenti Field. It will be Falcons 10, Carver 0, halftime. Coming up at halftime, we'll crown a new homecoming queen, so stay tuned, folks. If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Tanj Mahoe is ready for new innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for parish president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Tanj Mahoe Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for parish president. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service bays to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey and I'm running for state representative in District 73. As a hardworking small business owner, I understand the strains of an oversized government. My opponent believes that higher taxes and more taxes is the key to our budget issues. He voted in this past session for nine bills that would increase taxes on individuals and businesses alike. He even authored a bill in the legislature that would raise an estimated of $500 million. I believe in job creation, small businesses, and free enterprise is the key to our budget issues. Join me October 24th and vote for a better Tanchpahoa. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's especially medication pharmacy. John's has fast, friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. Regional Catholic High School. We'd like to take this moment to recognize our STA alumni and say... Welcome home! Our alumni escorts this evening are provided through the Falcon Alumni Association. Please join us in welcoming our court maids and their escorts. Freshman court maid, Miss Madeline Noel Henry. Maddie is being escorted by Mr. Craig Stein, a 1996 STA graduate. Craig graduated with a degree in forest management from Louisiana State University in 2001. He is currently employed with DuPont. Craig and his wife, Melody, have two daughters, Juliana and Katie J. From the class of 1996, Mr. Craig Stein. Maddie is being met by her father. She is the daughter of Donna Henry of Hammond and of Rick and Debbie Henry of Ponchatoula. Maddie is a member of STA's cheerleading squad. 
She is a member of Grace Episcopal Church and enjoys volunteering with her grandmother at the Fuller Shop in Hammond. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Madeline Noel Henry. Uh. Freshman court maid, Miss Caroline Elizabeth Engratia. Caroline is being escorted by her brother, Mr. Lartz Engratia, STA class of 2012. Lartz, a former Falcon football player, STA ambassador, and student council member, is currently a senior at Louisiana State University, majoring in business management with a concentration in entrepreneurship. He is a member of Sigma Nu Fraternity, where he served as pledge class president and is currently the recruitment chairman. Upon graduation from LSU, Lawrence plans to pursue a master's in business administration. From the class of 2012, Mr. Lawrence and Grafia. <laughs> Caroline is being met by her father. She is the daughter of Butch and Jennifer and Grafia of Hammond. Caroline is a member of the FTA cheerleading team and the Lady Falcons basketball team. She is also a member of Key Club, Campus Ministry, the Catholic Athletes for Christ, and the Pro-Life team. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Caroline Elizabeth Engrafia. <laughs> Sophomore court maid, Miss Mia Elise Milton. Mia is being escorted by Mr. Deck Kent, a graduate of STA class of 2006. Deck is a former member of STA's football and track teams. He attended Southeastern Louisiana University and is currently employed at Kent Truck and Trailer Service in Fluker and with Panji Industrial Sales in Hammond. From the class of 2006, Mr. Deck Kent. Mia is being met by her father. She is the daughter of David and Carolyn Milton of Hammond. Mia is a student council representative as well as a member of Beta Club and the Pro-Life team. She is also a proud member of the Lady Falcon soccer team where she was named to the Division 2-3 All-State team and the second team All-District. She enjoys volunteering with the Tangi Food Pantry and helping with Holy Ghost Vacation Bible School. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mia Elise Milton. <laughs> Sophomore court maid, Miss Gabriella Yvette Miller. Yvette is being escorted by 1996 STA graduate, Mr. Scott Gidrick. Scott graduated from Louisiana State University in 2000 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Forest Management. He is currently a commercial real estate appraiser with Murphy Appraisal Services. He and his wife, Catherine, have two sons, Hayden and Connor, both students at Holy Ghost. From the class of 1996, Mr. Scott Gidry. Yvette is being met by her brother, Mr. Aaron Miller. She is the daughter of Joseph and Michelle Miller of Hammond. Yvette is a member of STA's Beta Club and a sophomore class representative on the student council. She enjoys volunteering and helps in the nursery at her ch at the door of Hope in Denham Springs and with her church group, and she assists with the elderly. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss. Gabrielle Yvette Miller. Uh, Junior court maid, Miss Alyssa Therese Fitch. Uh, Alyssa is being escorted by 1995 alumnus, Mr. Chad Beard. Chad is a 1999 graduate of Louisiana State University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering. He has worked for the Neutron Group for the past 19 years and was named in January 2014 as President and General Manager of NGI National Contractors, the National Division of the Neutron Group. 
Neutron is ranked number nine in the Baton Rouge Business Report's list of top 100 private companies and is the ninth largest industrial, electrical, and instrumentation contractor in the country. Chad is a member of the Associated Builders and Contractors Pelican Chapter and the Construction Industry Advisory Council for LSU. He and his wife, Kristen, a 1998 STA graduate, have two children, Caroline and Jack. From the class of 1995, Mr. Chad Beard. Alyssa is being met by her father, David Finch, a graduate of the STA class of 1997. She is the daughter, David and Angie Finch, of Tickfall. Alyssa is a member of the Lady Falcons soccer team, as well as STA's cheerleading squad, and has lettered in both sports. She is a member of the Beta Club, Key Club, and Campus Ministry team, as well as an STA ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alyssa Therese Bitch. <laughs> Junior Court Maid, Miss Patricia Denise Todd. Patricia is being escorted by 1996 alumnus, Mr. Doyle Orlando. Doyle graduated from Southeastern Louisiana University with a degree in business finance and also from the Culinary Institute of America with a degree in culinary arts. He is the former executive chef at Jockmel Inn. Doyle is currently training to be a financial advisor with Edward Jones. He and his wife Sky have two children, Owen and Sinclair. From the class of 1996, Mr. Doyle Orlando. Patricia has been met by her stepfather. She is the daughter of Frank and Alisa Depez of Hammond. Patricia is a runner for SDA's cross-country and track teams. She is a member of Key Club, Beta Club, Art Club, Campus Ministry, and the Light Team. She is also an SDA ambassador. Patricia is a member of Holy Ghost Catholic Church and the Venture Crew 703 at St. Albert's Catholic Student Center. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Patricia Denise Todd. <laughs> Senior court maid, Miss Sydney Alexis Milton. Sydney is being escorted by Mr. Matthew Ingrathia, a graduate of the SDA class of 1996. Matthew played on the very first Falcon football team under coach Pete Valente and made the first ever school interception. He attended Southeastern Louisiana University where he was an industrial technology major. He is employed in sales for Coburn Plumbing Supply for the St. Tammany Parish region. Matthew and his wife Dana live in Moranger where he also manages the family beef farm. From the class of 1996, Mr. Matthew Ingravia. Sydney is being met by her father. She is the daughter of David and Carolyn Milton of Hammond. Sydney plays for the STA Lady Falcon soccer team, where she has lettered the past three years. She is also a member of National Honor Society, Beta Club, Key Club, and Campus Ministry. Sydney also volunteers at the Tangi Food Pantry twice a week. She plans to attend Louisiana State University's pre-med program to eventually major in optometry or dermatology. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sydney Alexis Milton. <laughs> Senior court maid, Miss Molly Renee Peralta. <laughs> Molly is being escorted by her brother, 2012 alumnus, Mr. Andrew Peralta. Drew is Vice President and Regional Property Supervisor of Summit Apartment Management Company, as well as co-owner of Squeaky Clean Laundromat in Hammond. He supervises the daily operations of family-owned real estate assets, totaling more than 1,000 rental units in five states, as well as other family-owned entities. From the class of 2012, Mr. Andrew Peralta. Molly is being met 
by her father. She is the daughter of Michael and Brenda Peralta of Hammond. Molly was elected as secretary of the National Honor Society and is also a member of the Beta Club and an STA ambassador. Molly also loves animals and enjoys volunteering with the Tangi Humane Society. She plans to attend Louisiana State University to major in animal science and then continue to LSU Veterinary School. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Molly Renee Peralta. <laughs> Senior court maid, Miss Allie Caroline Ridsdale. Allie is being escorted by Judge Jeff Oglesby, a graduate of the class of 1991. Jeff is a graduate of Southeastern Louisiana University and the Louisiana State University School of Law. He has served as legislative assistant to the late Senator Hankel as a law clerk for the 21st Judicial Court and as a senior attorney for Louisiana State Senate Commerce and Consumer Protection Committee. He is currently serving as the first family court judge for the 21st Judicial District. He and his wife, Allison, a 1995 STA graduate, have one son, Zachary. From the class of 1991, Judge Jeff Ogilvy. <laughs> Allie is being met by her father, Mr. Terrell Ridgedale. She is the daughter of Kim and Terrell Ridgedale of Hammond. Allie is a captain and four-year member of the STA cheerleading squad. She serves as historian of the Key Club and was elected as a student council representative. She is also a member of STA's Life Team, MICA 6-8, and Pro-Life Committee, as well as Beta Club and National Honor Society. Allie is an active member of the youth group at Ebenezer Baptist Church. She attended Louisiana Girl State in Natchitoches this past summer. Allie plans to attend Southeastern Louisiana University to obtain the prerequisites to pursue a degree in pharmacy. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Allie Caroline Ridgell. Wow. Senior maid, Miss wow. Kaylin Elise Sampe. Wow. Kaylin is being escorted by her brother, Mr. Channing Sampe, a graduate of the STA class of 2015. While at STA, Channing played on the football team and the powerlifting team, where he qualified for state. Currently, Channing is working for his family business, Sanpe Construction, and hopes to follow in his father's footsteps to be the third generation of Sanpe Construction. He is currently studying to earn his Louisiana contractor's license. In the spring, he will also begin pursuit of a degree in instrumentation. From the class of 2015, Mr. Channing Sampin. <laughs> Kaylin is being met by her father. She is the daughter of Tony and Lauren Sampin of Hallam. Kaylin serves as secretary of the Beta Club and is a member of the National Honor Society. She is also a three-year member of the Starlets Dance Team. <laughs> Kaylin has danced for 13 years, nine of those competitively. She is also an honor roll student at STA. Kaylin plans to attend Louisiana State University to study kinesiology. Ladies and gentlemen, senior maid, Miss Kaylin Elise Sante. Please give a round of applause to your 2015 St. Thomas Aquinas Homecoming Court. Please welcome to the field, Mr. Jose Becerra, Principal of St. Thomas Aquinas. He is joined by our 2014 Homecoming Queen, Miss Bailey Ann Barker. <laughs> Bailey is currently attending Southeastern Louisiana University, where she is studying kinesiology and plans to be an occupational therapist. 
She is also a member of Phi Nu Fraternity. Welcome home, Bailey, as well as the many alumni here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the student body, faculty, staff, and administration of St. Thomas Aquinas, it gives me great pleasure to announce your 2015 St. Thomas Aquinas Homecoming Queen, who is Miss Allie Caroline Richter. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a round of applause for all the court members and their queen, Miss Allie Caroline Richdell. You're watching WSTY-TV, Channel 23, Hammond, Ponchatoula. A joyous evening here on the campus of St. Thomas Aquinas as it's homecoming. We have a new queen and we have a 10-0 lead at halftime for the Falcons football team. They'll get it to start here in the second half. So St. Thomas, 10, Carver, nothing. This is the WSTY Game of the Week. I'm Darrell Smith along with... Matt Greer on camera, I mean Butch Lee and Rusty Barrio. Nice run back here as Lewis gets it all the way out to the 37 yard line and gives the Falcons good field position to start the second half. Hey, you say something over Marty? Week six of high school football. First down, 10, And we just missed the cool weather here by a couple of days, didn't we? Golly. I love a good, cool game. Last week was nice. A little hot out here. You see some of the Falcons there. That maroon jersey, dark maroon from the sweat. Played a great first half. This Lewis off the right side. Nothing there. He'll be stopped for no gain. Brad Lewis on the carry. It'll be second down and nine. Actually, I just think that it's a bad mark here. It's going to be second and ten. Nevertheless, Falcons did a good job in the first half of moving the football and putting points on the board when they had the opportunity. And Carver jumps off sides. Will give the Falcons a five-yard Boost here on second down. The, the Falcons are going to need to come out with that intensity that they started the game with right here. They can put the Carver Rams away here with a good drive early in this half. Dantzler to run it to the right. Flags fly. Dansler breaks it to the open field. One man to beat, cuts back inside. He'll have a touchdown. We'll have to wait and see what the penalty is. Got to be a holding with the, the flag was thrown out there. He had some lead blockers. Looked like one of them might have gotten a jersey. Holding against the Falcons will negate the touchdown, and this one will come all the way back. And that's one thing Danzler didn't want to do early in his game is take one to the end zone and have to come right back and try to do it again for 60 yards. Big penalty against the Falcons. This will back the football all the way back to the 31 yard line. 
It'll be second down and 16. Lewis left side hitting the backfield. Nowhere to go. He'll be dropped for a two yard loss. So an auspicious beginning here for the Falcons. Get a penalty against Carver for all sides. Put yourself at second to short, and then you break off a long touchdown run. And now the penalty negates it. You get a play for a loss, and now you're in third and long. One thing you don't want to do right now with the Carver team on their back is give them momentum. A little bit of a broken play. Dantzler's going to run it to the left and go down at the 31. Got a yard, and it'll be punting situation. Play never looked right from the beginning. Ball was snapped and seemed like nobody moved. No name on the roster. Coming out of the locker room at halftime is very important, especially when you have that lead and getting the ball back here to start the half. It's not where the Falcons want to be. Hedsinger to punt it away. Wilson stands at the 30-yard line. Once again, a good snap. Pressure up the middle, gets the punt away. Wilson feels it at the 37-yard lines. So Carver will come up with decent field position here to start the first drive of the second half. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for tonight's game. Dixie RV Superstore, Bill Hood Automotive Group, Anthon's Chiropractic Clinic, Robbie Miller, candidate for Paris President, Tim Bailey, candidate for State the Representative, District 73, and John's Ball. Pharmacy in Albany. Without them, we wouldn't be on the air tonight, so thank them once again for helping us be here tonight in week six of the high school football season. Handoff left side in the backfield is Bass. Slowly bumping up for his teammates to make the play. Gain of one. Bass held him up. Alexander fished him off. They're going to give him two on the play. Second down and eight. I got to think that coming out of after halftime here, the Carver Rams are going to try to open it up a little bit offensively, start throwing the ball down the field. Starting quarterback shook up in the first half. He's back here to start the second half. Another run right up the middle. Big hole. He's got a first down and more inside Falcon territory. Knocked down at the 35-yard line. 25-yard run, picks up a first down. And obviously the Falcons thought they might want to throw here and they fooled them with two consecutive runs and a big game. And the Falcons doing a lot of dropping into cover two there. And what they're doing is they're taking that run support guy and bailing him back deep for the pass, and it's helping the Carver Rams on the run plays. Well, they're depending on that big defensive line of stopping them at the line, but once they get through, not much help there. First and 10 Rams, handoff again. Runs through an arm tackle, cuts back against the grain, picks up seven. Ball down to the 28-yard line. On the carry, stopped in by number 14, Hunter Stanley. Six on the play, second down, four. Second down, long three. Carver on their opening possession here in the second half. Flags fly. Legal procedure against the Rams. Just trying to throw it out there in the flat to their receiver and let him go one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Ball start, the ball 
Against the Rams. One thing Coach White didn't want to happen here is them stop them on that early possession, get the ball back, and take it down. You know they had a really good chance to to make it an early night here, putting those points back on the board in the early start of the half. And right here, Carver Ram is driving this defense for the Falcons needs to step it up. They'll be aided by the penalty there. Second down now and a long eight. All out blitz coming. Good job by the lineman, Trey Jackson, who fell off in coverage and tipped the pass. They were trying to let them all come up the middle and just dump it off over the left side short, but Jackson got the big paw on it and knocked it down. And I tell you, on this trip side down here near us, they tried to set up the tunnel screen with that motion. It was open. Let's see if they come back to it. Make sure the Falcons cover that next time when they try. Well, you know, if the pass would have got over Jackson's hand, he had some space out there on the left side. So a good job there by Jackson, getting a hand on the pass, knocking it down, third down, eight. <clears throat> Deep out, pass completed. That's Wilson again. He's out of bounds at the 12 yard line, first down and 10 Rams. Five, and we told Wilson. you before the game, they like to throw it. That's a dangerous pass, that long deep out to the wide side of the field, but he was able to get it there and complete it. First down and 10. We're not seeing the pressure that we saw in the quarterback in the first half. I don't know if they're pulling back on the blitz or, or what they're trying to do here defensively, but they're gonna have to pressure that quarterback to get him to move. Trips to the top of your screen. Cross the middle pass behind the receiver, but complete. He'll be down to the six yard line. First pass complete. Had that pass hit him in stride, could have been a touchdown. So St. Thomas dodges a bullet there and they still got him out of the end zone. They bent, but they haven't broken yet. 10 to nothing your score. St. Thomas up with 632 to go here. The opening possession for the Rams here in the third quarter, trying to cut into that 10 nothing lead. No 25 second clock, a lot of time going by here. The hand has been raised. So 10, 10 seconds, seconds on the play clock. Right up the middle was Bass. Play went to the outside, and Nassler cut him down for a loss of three. That's a good thing he did, though, because there was nobody else out there. We came in low trying to take those legs out. Good job by Danzler. Bass almost made the play in the backfield, unable to get a hand on it, but Danzler cleaned up the mess, dropped him for a loss, and it's third down and eight. Rams can get a first down at the three-yard line without scoring here. Obviously, four down territory as the Rams do not kick that we know of. Saw nobody in pregame warm us working on kicking. Pass high and outside, the incomplete, it'll be fourth down. Once again, this Falcons defense, been in the not breaking. Let's see if they can pull it off one more time here to start the second half. Well, right there, you saw the play. He caught it, turned, and threw it way before he had to, and that's because of the pressure they got in the first half. He's a little gun shy, he's taking some licks back there. So once again, inside the red zone, can the Falcons defense hold them out? They've done it twice already tonight. Falcons showing blitz. Pass over the middle, picked off. Terrence Jackson. 
Got to love when the big man drops and gets a bone. Good job. Dropped him back in coverage, able to come up with the interception. And there's that Falcons defense one more time. Let's see if these, these Falcon offense can go 89 yards and put something in the end zone here. Under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Falcons gonna try to eat up some clock here too. As this game's getting shorter and shorter. Long drive that came up empty. This time it'll be Dantzler going off the right side. Bobbing and weaving, but nowhere to go. He'll be dragged down after about a two yard game. Right there, Carver doing a pretty good job of encasing him over there on the left sideline and keeping him from getting outside. It'll be second down and eight. Very important right here for the Falcons to get at least the first down to get out of this deep in their territory here. Don't want to give the Carver offense the ball back on their side of the 50. Really important here for St. Thomas to try to pick up this first down to do nothing else like you said, Rusty, get the field position in their favor. Dancer, look at the throw, swings to the outside, pass completed. First down out to the 30. Big lick there is Mason Miller on the reception. That's what they needed. That's what we were talking about. Get him out, give him a little room. Now you can go back to what you were doing. The fakes, the option, get him outside and, and run the ball and run the clock. Well, a nice completion there that picks up the first down is gonna allow them to wire some more time off this clock. A Carver team averaging over 30 a game coming in has been shut out. And if St. Thomas can move the football, can run it to the end of the third quarter with a big goose egg on the board for the Rams. And you know that's gotta be frustrating for a team that's used to putting points on the board. Dantzler runs to the right side, runs through one tackle, picks up a couple. Cameron Dantzler on the keeper. Brown. Giving three on the play, it'll be second down and seven. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter and the time is the ally of the Falcons. You see them, they're gonna milk it all the way down as much as they can, shorten this game. Dancer again, the keeper, nowhere to go as he shut down immediately, loss of a half yard. And right now, Carver doing a good job of spying on Dancer. You know, you, we were talking about that at halftime, and, and, and that's what you said. You know, if you're Carver, you got to take him out of the mix and try to see what you can do with everybody else. And they're doing a good job of that right now on this uh, part of the drive. Well, they want him to throw the football and make one of these other players make a big play in the passing game. Third and eight. Looking for the man deep. Pass thrown. Dive made for it. Incomplete. That was the same play. Sarah picked up the first down on Dog. Miller was out here in the flat. He kind of ran a corner route that time. Wanted to make him jump it and he tried it deep there. Well, they had a man out in the flat, but he was well covered. So Dantzler decided to go deep. Pass a little bit too much to the outside. So the Falcons will punt it away here with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Very good game plan tonight on offense and defense for the Falcons. Low snap, gets away the punt. Wilson feels it at 36, this time he'll try to return it. Cuts it upfield, he's out across midfield down to the 49 yard line. So a good return Wilson there by Wilson. The return of the punt stop made by number 21. So Carver shut out so far tonight, but now 
with the short field. They've got to find a way to take advantage, but the Falcons got to just keep doing what they're doing. Keep the big plays away, make them earn it, and wait for them to make a mistake. That's it, and the pressure is the key. Well, the pressure is building also. You're talking about the, uh, the pressure of the, the defensive the line. line. <laughs> I'm talking about the pressure of not scoring and the clock ticking down. A lot That's of pressure it. on Carver here to get something on the board. Trying to go deep left side, man's out there. That's Wilson, catches it, and down at the 10 yard line, it'll be first and goal. That time, Wilson got behind the defender. And they bailed at that cover two, and I wasn't quite sure if they ran a seam or something, but the safety wasn't able to get over the top to help. Good catch and throw. Now the Carver Rams are knocking on the door. Well, we talked about Wilson before the game. He's their big play guy, and he made a nice over-the-shoulder catch there to put him in scoring position. Run off the left side. Now bring it back right. Nice stiff arm, but staying with it, and they're going to drag him down for no gain. Nice hit there as they drive him back, and he's down. So after the injury timeout, it will be second down and goal from the 10. Must score opportunity here for the Rams. Flag flies. Offsides. So St. Thomas is going to aid them here and give them a five yard gain. Bad mistake there by the defense. We're late third quarter, minute 05 left in a 10 to nothing game. St. Thomas leading Carver once again inside the 10 yard line. This is the fourth trip inside the red zone so far, been shut out. This game's starting to get very interesting late. Blitz coming, handoff, big head in the backfield and drops him for a big loss. And that's where you need your stars to step through. Big Ed, one of the leaders on defense that comes through with a big play. That's exactly right, he slanted across the face. They had no chance of blocking him that time. Dropped him in the backfield and just took that five yard back for the Falcons. Third and goal. Can they do it one more time here tonight? If they get it off, this will be the last play of the third quarter. Looking to throw, outside, got a man wide open. Said he was out of bounds. Incomplete, the man was open, passed a little bit too far to the outside. So St. Thomas hanging in there, and we'll go to the fourth quarter with your score. St. Thomas 10, Carver nothing. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey, and I'm running for state representative here in District 73. I plan to enhance our vocational education system so that we have job-ready graduates. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. South Tenshpahoe Parish is in need of a bridge of representation. I'm asking for your vote on October 24th and allow me to be that bridge for you. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's especially medication pharmacy. John's has fast friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service base to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com.
Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident? The doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda, and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Taj Mahal is ready for new, innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for Paris president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Taj Mahal Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for Paris president. Fourth and goal and the biggest play of the ball game so far here as the Falcons holding on to a 10 to nothing lead. Nice pocket, gets rid of the football, got a man, pass tip, and incomplete, it'll be Falcons ball. And that was number 14 out there, Hunter Stanley with the play of the game so far. Big play right there, and again, defense steps up. Once again, looked like the receiver was open a little bit to the outside, but Stanley cut the gap, got a finger on it, knocked it down, and the Falcons take over first down and 10 at their own 10. 11.56 to go in the ball game, and the Falcons cannot make a mistake down here. Need to try to pick up a couple first downs. They've got the game in their hands right now. Big drive, like you said, some first downs, eat that clock. Dancer rolls, completes the pass to Bell. Three yard gain, maybe four on the play. Good play call right there. The Carver defense was looking for the run and play action. Hit him out there in the hook zone. Nice job out there by the Falcons. Short gain on the play, it'll be second down and seven. Dantzler from under center. Lewis in the backfield with Bell. This will be Lewis off the right side. Bounces it to the outside. He's going to be hit at about the 18. He'll be about two yards shy of the first down. Looks like they may give him the 19, so it'll be third and one. You got to think, dog, in a situation like this, when you got big number nine standing on the sideline, not dressed out, this would be a perfect time to run him up in there. With that big body. He has six on the play, third down, one. Lewis bounces it to the outside. He's going to fight and get the first down. He's out to the 24-yard line. Looked like he might have made a mistake getting to the outside, but able to get upfield and pick up the first down. Big guys up front kept pushing, got behind him, did their job right there. Good job up front. Clock continues to tick. Ten minutes, ten seconds to go in the ball game. The ball is spotted at the 20. Ever important first down for field position, for time, but also to give your defense a rest.
Handoff left side, maybe a yard. Lewis not much there, but once again, Brian Rush to keeping that clock moving. Harry, it's a two score Bobby game and they're shutting Carver. out a 30 point a game one, team in Carver. The so they want to keep that clock yeah. moving and keep them frustrated. And we've seen it time and time again with certain teams, dog. When, you know, that field goal by the St. Thomas Falcons was huge with Carver not having any opportunity to do that in the game. So good job on special teams. There are three parts of this game. Dantzler to run off the right side. Breaks a tackle across the 30, still on his feet. Will get out to the 38-yard line and a first down. Poor tackling there by Carver and a great effort there by Dantzler. You've seen him run it all night. You know, it looks like a design run, but they're pulling those two guys from the line out there to lead on that quarterback keep, and they're doing a good job. And, of course, Dantzler does his magic when he gets out there. I'd like to try it just one time. You can, just, just, just give it a rest. First down, Falcons. I had to use my radio voice on TV. Anyway, first down and 10 for the Falcons. It will be Dantzler from the shotgun. St. Thomas putting together a nice little drive here. They've got the field position in their favor now. Lewis up the middle, no gain. Brian Willis on the carry, stop made by number 53, no name on the roster. No game on the play, second down, 10. And that clock is ticking, and it is their friend. Under eight minutes to go in the ball game. The WSTY game of the week here at St. Thomas, homecoming night, and it's 10 to nothing Falcons here at People Any Field. This time, Dancer still trying to pull it out of his hands as they corral both of them in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. And Carver Rand came out of the pile with the ball, so that really wasn't a, a good idea there. That could have been bad for the Falcons. Third down and 12. So some much needed, needed rest for this Falcons defense. Should the offense not be able to pick up the first down here? 6.50 and counting to go here in the fourth quarter as they have run off a good five minutes so far on this drive. Falcons better hurry if they want to get this one off. Should be about four seconds to go. They do get it off. Dantzler rolling left, looking to throw. Now he'll keep it. Gets the speed to the backside. He'll have the first down and more all the way down to the 40-yard line of the Rams. And that could be the one that does it for the Rams here because the Falcons should be able to run another two or three minutes off of this clock. I'm going to tell you, they brought outside pressure that time and left the middle open, trying to bring a linebacker through the gut. And I'll tell you what, he just made him miss. Good job up front and good job by Danzler. Clock now down to around six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, and it'll be first down. Lewis up the middle. This time he'll pick up about three. Brad Lewis on the carry. Stop made by number 55. I tell you, Doug Lewis has been running hard all night. Very seldom have we seen him go backwards. He's going forward, he getting those extra yards way. after the first six hit. Six. Be second and six. Lewis again, left side. He's going to pick up about five. Brian Lewis 
Only give him four on the play. It'll bring up third down and three. But under five minutes to go in the football game, so St. Thomas offense doing exactly what they needed to do on this drive. Get field position in your favor and run a lot of time off the clock. And give your defense a much needed rest. So well executed game plan on both sides of the ball tonight. Dantzler on the keeper. He'll have the first down and more. Ball on the turf though, and Carver comes up with it, but they're gonna call it down at the 25 yard line. So for the third time tonight, Dantzler let it get out of his hands, but this one won't hurt him either. Carver thought they had the big break they were looking for, but forward progress stopped. St. Thomas first down and 10. Like he had gone down on his knee right there anyway, dog, and he just slammed the ball down when he got hit. So another big first down right here. And they've come a long way. I'm not, I can't remember exactly where the drive started, but I, I got to tell you, it's over 90 yards. The huh? drive started at the 10-yard line, now down at the 25, so they've gone a good 65 yards here and run over eight minutes off this clock. Lewis up the middle, no gain. And the thing about it is the Falcons don't need any more points. They need no turnovers to keep the clock moving. They can pick up one more first down. But I tell you what, they put Carver in a tough situation here needing two scores. And now we're down to three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And it's only second down. Coach White and his staff doing a great job here. This has been a well-run football game. Dantzler, right side. Pick up a three. Carver takes our first time out of the second half. Three minutes, three seconds to go in the football game. Third down and seven, blitz coming. Lewis on the handoff, lost two yards. Fourth down. Brad Lewis on the carry, stop by number 22 on L. Williams. And it looks like Carver's gonna take their number second time out. Fourth down play for the Falcons, fourth and nine. They'll go for it here, probably keep the football on the ground. Although you could, might as well take a shot here in the air because clock's gonna stop on change of possession anyway. Dantzler spins back, rolls right, got a man wide open. First down, touchdown. Ball game. Oh, seal the deal, baby. Mason Miller with the touchdown catch seals the victory for the Falcons. What a great job by Dantzler. They reverse this field, avoid the blitz get outside and Miller ran that crossing route and it was perfect on the money. Touchdown Falcons. Hetziger to come in to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and it's good. 17 to nothing with 2.44 to go. And the reality is starting to set in on the Carver sideline. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey, and I'm running for state representative here in District 73. I plan to enhance our vocational education system so that we have job-ready graduates. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. South Tenshpahoe Parish is in need of a bridge of representation. I'm asking for your vote on October 24th and allow me to be that bridge for you. 
If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda, and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Falcons to kick it away here with 244 to go. And a little bit more breathing room at 17 to nothing. Look for the squib kick here. And that's exactly what you get. Ball takes a nice hop. Carver picks it up and runs it out to about the 45 yard line. The big man carrying people across midfield down to the 49. 235 to go. Three score lead for the Falcons. Now it's the defense, you just sit back, play you guys deep, don't let them get anything over the top, and I mean, with two minutes and 35 seconds left. But you know the defense wants that shutout. We're gonna see how it goes here in the next few minutes, and we're gonna talk about the SNS Sports Center player of the game. Trying to set up the screen, Big Ed coming across. Completes the pass, picks up eight, but in the field of play, ran down from behind by Trey Jackson. D-line did a good job of dropping back and retracting after they realized it was the screen. Second down, three. Clock moving, second down and three. Pass over the middle. Bolton almost with a shot at the interception. Incomplete, two minutes to go. Third down and three. Bolton sitting back playing center field, had a shot at one. Dantzler with Wilson at the bottom of your screen, mano a mano. Flag down in there of holding, pass completed and immediately tackled there by number 21, Tyrese Edwards. But it looks like there could be holding on this play. There's a flag on the play. And that's the call. That'll back them up 10 from the point of the foul. Holding the call. Moves the ball back all the way to the 43 yard line. So it'll be third down and 17. And Rusty, there's been a lot of candidates tonight here for a player of the game. Dantzler's had a great game at quarterback. Big Ed on defense, but I'm gonna go outside the box here. I think the player the of the game is the whole That's defense exactly where for St. Thomas because it has been a group effort. And when anytime you can, at this point, shut out a team like Carver with the explosive offense they have, averaging 30 plus a game, team game, I'd like to give the player of the game. And there they are once again, the St. Thomas Falcons defense. So are we in agreement here? Yes, sir, we are. You I'm know why? Because we, we really don't care what Butch thinks. No, he doesn't matter. But I'm going to tell you what, we do. And I'm going to say this. I totally agree with you. They have done a great job. Four times, Ben don't break. You got a 4-8 team coming in here, 4-1, and one, averaging 30 points a game, and you shut them out here at home. Big job right here by the entire Falcons team. But the, the SNS player of the game in my, my book is the defense. So hats off to the defense here tonight. Fourth down and 26 and trying to end it here on a high note here, keeping this, knocking this offense off the field so the, so the Falcons offense can go into victory formation. Safety's 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Pass picked off by Dantzler. Now he's gonna try to return it, but will return it for the <laughs> touchdown. Just didn't want to see anything happen to him there, but it easily went down. 
And that's one person you don't want to underthrow a pass to. <laughs> the Falcons seal the deal with 32 seconds to go. It's 23 to nothing and Hetzinger to tack on another point. So insult to injury there as they pick off a pass or return it for a touchdown. Flag down as the kick is good. See what the penalty is. And congratulations to our Lee's drive in player of the game. And our player of the game, number four. Penalty was against Carver. They'll mark it off on the kickoff. One more time, we would like to thank our sponsors for tonight's game. Dixie RV Superstores out there in Pumpkin Center. Bill Hullett Automotive Group. Anthon's Chiropractic Clinic in Hammond. Robbie Miller, candidate for Paris President. Tim Bailey, candidate for District 73, State Representative. And John's Pharmacy in Albany, Thank them once again for helping us get the game on the air tonight, and what a game it is. The Falcons up 24 to nothing with 32 seconds to go. You know, we were talking before the game. We felt like this was going to be a tough battle here for the, for the Falcons, but they have done a great job. Like you said, the coaches had a great game plan, and they came here and executed. And I'll tell you what, they impressed me tonight, dog. Well, when you play defense against a team that loves the big play and you make them earn it all the way down the field, well, they earned it all the way down to the red zone four times. It came up empty with no kicking game. Had to go for it on fourth down. And the Falcons came up with the big plays. And then finally, with a late touchdown here in the fourth quarter from the offense, put it away. For the Falcons. Timeout. Falcons. Timeout by St. Thomas. So we'll line it up and kick it off here. Hesinger should put this one out of the end zone. And it will go into the end zone, not returnable. So the defense fittingly will end this ball game as they come back out on the field to get the last 32 seconds off. Elsewhere in the parish, we have a final score. Ponchatoula goes to Slidell and shuts them out 35 to nothing. So the green wave after the loss last week gets back on the winning track. First and 10, snap, swings it to the outside, ball incomplete, one hopped it to his receiver. First and that quarterback is taking some, some hits tonight and he's just trying to get rid of the football now. I know, and you're looking at it, 28 seconds, I mean, down 24, just get on and the no, bus. And no sense taking yeah. a extra lick here tonight that might put you out for the rest of the season. Get he's taking enough punishment. Get on the bus. Get on the bus and head back to New Orleans and take this loss with you. <laughs> That's exactly right. Wisely, they hand it off here, and there's Big Ed grabs him at the line of scrimmage, and he's not going nowhere. Clock continues to tick, and they do not have to make another snap. Let's see if they go to the sidelines here. Looks like they're lining up on the 50. And that will be the last play of the ball game as the St. Thomas Aquinas Falcons have shocked the Carver Rams. Didn't shock themselves, but I know they shocked the Rams by shutting them out and beating them 24 to nothing here tonight on the campus of St. Thomas Aquinas, Pete Blenny Field, homecoming, and there go the fireworks. 24 to nothing, your WSTY game of the week. So, folks, hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week as we travel to Albany.
So for my cameraman, the immortal one, Butch Lee, my partner in crime, Rusty Barrio, I'm the big dog, Daryl Smith, saying we'll bark at you next week. <laughs> If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda, and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey, and I'm running for state representative here in District 73. I plan to enhance our vocational education system so that we have job-ready graduates. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. South Tenshpaho Parish is in need of a bridge of representation. I'm asking for your vote on October 24th and allow me to be that bridge for you. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five-mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's especially medication pharmacy. John's has fast, friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service base to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthons even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthons Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. Tanchmaho is ready for new, innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for parish president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next chief executive officer for Tanchmaho Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for parish president. If you want our lowest prices on our best selection of new and used vehicles, then visit the Bill Hood family of dealerships, Louisiana's low price leader, or click hoodauto.com. Visit Bill Hood Ford Lincoln in Hammond, Bill Hood Nissan, Mazda, and Hyundai on the import corner in Hammond, Bill Hood Chevrolet Buick GMC in Amit, Bill Hood Chevrolet in Covington, plus our two new stores, Bill Hood Premium Pre-Owned in Hammond and Bill Hood Pre-Owned Outlet in Ponchatoula. Click hoodauto.com. Hi, I'm Tim Bailey, and I'm running for state representative here in District 73. I plan to enhance our vocational education system so that we have job-ready graduates. I also plan to create an economic development plan for our region. South Tenshpaho Parish is in need of a bridge of representation. I'm asking for your vote on October 24th and allow me to be that bridge for you. John's Pharmacy in Albany works hard to give you the best service around. John's offers free delivery within a five-mile radius, medication sync program, medication flavoring, and it's especially medication pharmacy. John's has fast, friendly service and a drive through window for your convenience. John's Pharmacy is locally owned and operated by a Hornet graduate of the class of 1993. They support the Hornets and the fine folks of Albany, so come on down to John's Pharmacy at 29148 South Montpelier Avenue in Albany, and we'll take care of all your pharmacy needs. 
Dixie RV Superstore is your number one source for the largest selection of new and pre-owned RVs. You're sure to find the RV of your dreams with 68 acres of motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. We also have an RV collision center and 56 service bays to better serve you. Dixie RV, located off I-12 exit 35 in Hammond. Check out DixieRV.com. Injured on the field, hurt on the job, been in a car accident, the doctors at Anton's Chiropractic Care will help you get back to pre-injury performance level. With treatments including chiropractic adjustments, physical therapy, and massage therapy, you will quickly begin seeing results. Anthon's even schedules Saturday appointments to ensure that your treatment will not interfere with your schedule. So give them a call at 985-542-1640 to schedule your appointment or stop by their downtown location in Hammond across from the Columbia Theater. That's Anthon's Chiropractic Care for all your chiropractic needs. Tanj Maho is ready for new, innovative leadership. Robbie Miller is your candidate for Paris president. Robbie will bring 30 years of trusted business experience and community service to this job. Your vote on October 24th is to hire the next Chief Executive Officer for Tanj Parish. This position is about vision, leadership, and direction. Robbie Miller has the energy, commitment, and integrity to do the job. Vote number 73, Robbie Miller for Paris president. 